All right, I want to show you how to find the probability of F or G using intuition and the addition rule. All right, so I'm going to show you this, how to find probability using intuition and the addition rule. So the addition rule, first of all, it says that the probability of F or G equals to the probability of F plus the probability of G minus the probability of F and G. So that's the addition rule. All right, so let's read this. A probability experiment is conducted in which the sample space of the experiment is S equals two through 13, and the event F is four through eight, and G is eight through 11. Now, assume that each outcome is equally likely. List the outcomes of F or G, and then find the probability of F or G by counting the number of outcomes in F or G, then determine the probability of F or G using the general addition rule, which is the rule I just wrote for you. That's the addition rule. Okay, let's see. How can we do this? Well, first of all, F or G is the set containing elements that are in F or G. So you can simply look at that. F starts with what? Four. So four, it has five, six, seven, and eight. What about G? It has 8 through 11. So I'm going to put 9, 10, and 11. So notice that 4 through 8, they're from F. And also notice that, get another color, 8 through 11, they're from G. Okay, so those are all the, that's F or G there. All right. Now, one question I have is how many values are in S? Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 values in S. We actually say the number of values in S, so we put N like that. How many values are in F or G? Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the number of values in F or G equals to 8. So let's see, how do we find this probability right here? We just divide. We're gonna do eight divided by 12, and that's how you get 0.667. It's two thirds, right? Simplifies to two thirds. So that's how we get that value. So notice how we found that value by intuition. We just counted. Intuition or counting. We just simply counted the number of values in F or G. Okay, now I wanna do this the hard way. I recommend that you do the counting way but I want to show you how to do it using the addition rule. So for the addition rule, we know we have the formula. So we're going to have to find probability of F plus probability of G minus the probability of F and G. So this takes more work, but it's pretty easy. So F itself has how many values? One, two, three, four, five. So the probability of getting F is five divided by 12 because that's the sample space, has 12, plus G has how many values? One, two, three, four. So four over 12. And the intersection, okay, what's the intersection of F and G? It's only this number eight. It's the only number that is in both sets. So we can say one over 12. So when we add this all together, nine minus one is eight, eight over 12. And guess what? We got the same value. So that's it, we get the same answer. All right, so if you wanna get all these values, this value and this value and this value, just plug in this, this, and this separately, and that's how you can do it. All right, so that's it.